Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this really exciting talk by Reza from uh, Vureal. I hope I'm pronouncing the name of the company, right? It's uh, Vue. Vue. Uh, Vureal. Yes. Vureal. And you know, Reza is a veteran of the display industry. He was just saying, you know, his hair grew white in this industry or gray, I should say. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was actually a kind of a, a generation up in our PhD group. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm delighted to have him here as a presenter. And he's going to tell us about some kind of a, a new approach using printing, a cartridge-based printing to micro LED uh, transfer. As usual, I will disappear. The stage will be Reza's. Two minutes before the end of his talk, I will come back up. I will give you the heads up. Please, the audience, don't be shy. Leave the questions and we will ask every single question at the end of the uh, session. So Reza, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity and uh, hello, everyone. I hope you have a good time so far. Uh, so at Vureal, uh, we're actually developing a printing platform. We're calling a sustainable pixel fabrication process. Uh, so you could do anything, micro LED, all those things, uh, or, or even micro sensor. Uh, so what, uh, what we mean by micro printing platform is, is printing millions of micrometer scale up to electronic devices or, or uh, electrochemical devices selectively into a surface. So that's kind of the end goal of what we want to do. Um, and from our point of view and our experience in the industry, we think microprinting is, is, a, is very strategic for companies and for uh, countries. Uh, and that's because the future is going to be microprinting. The idea of developing high quality, high performing devices under native substrate, native structure, and then print them uh, in millions to develop uh, any tools, any uh, device that you want, it's going to enable a lot of new products that we cannot imagine now. Like micro displays, micro LED is just one very immediate one, but there are going to be a lot of other ones like multifunction display, biometrics, health stuff that you can integrate into the display. Micro sensors, you can do a smart surface with a lot of different sensing capability. Chiplet, distributing uh, your, your, your chiplet, your system into a surface. As considering that most of the electronic system right now is the surface, is the display, that's going to be a huge thing as well, moving toward more rollable, flexible uh, system. It offers free form factors. You can do hybrid solution, integrating a lot of different things together. And it's a, it's a new advanced manufacturing, so a lot of opportunity will come uh, in the future that we don't know yet. Um, so as I mentioned, the opportunities right now, the HMI, human machine interface, displays, sensors, all those things, uh, security, doing multi-sensing, health, uh, personalized health for biometrics, uh, variables, all those things, and also uh, other uh, type of devices. The main challenges associated with this uh, uh, technology is yield, throughput, cost, and performance. I guess then what left? <laughs> the yield is, is very, it's a, most of solutions so far are very complicated with complex steps. So they called a lot of failure points. So the yield is not good. Uh, the throughput is low again, because of they're using a lot of processing steps or complicated equipment. Uh, cost, uh, material cost, material utilization is, is one big factor. Operation cost, cap, uh, OPEX is another one. CAPEX, I didn't put it here, but that also could be a big factor as well. Uh, performance also, how you print the devices into a substrate, uh, what you need to uh, put on the devices to print them could interfere with the device and affect their performance. Uh, and we'll describe that a bit. So let's go through some of the existing solutions. One is the laser release. Essentially, you have a donor substrate. You use the laser to release the LEDs from the substrate to a display. For example, right now, I'm going to focus on micro LED. Um, so when you do that, the, the, uh, the idea is that you can selectively transfer. So it's highly selective. But then there, there are issues. When you put laser, you could tilt the device, you could rotate the device, it could have all those things. Uh, this solution is going to have very difficulty with a small pitch, not only a small LED, but a small pitch. Uh, and, and it's important to remember that the, a small pitch is very important for making more LED out of the same wafer. It's not just a small LED, it's a small pitch, which is important. Uh, throughput limitation uh, is, is another uh, uh, issue. So uh, uh, how you're going to scale this to get higher throughput, especially